it's uh, so so amazing to take it back to the basics and back to keeping it completely simple like we heard this morning with uh, Candice's brilliant talk and it's just so ridiculously simple that I, I just was so amazed why I hadn't been educated in this way before why why uh, I had gone a certain amount of times a certain amount of uh, years in my life without this incredible education incredible education like something a sentence that can just unlock my limitless uh, potential why this hasn't uh, spread ridiculously <laughs> why why hasn't it ta- has it taken this long for me to to know this and then also seeing how incredibly grateful i am just to know it now and and to see uh so many people coming to know this this really incredible education where a single thought like all data spontaneously self-release wow <laughs> i mean wow that's really incredible. That's really profound. That changes my, li- changes my life. All data spontaneously self-release without, anything have, without any effort, without me needing to do anything at all. Check it out in your experience. See whether it is, it is like that for you right now. And it's all data, data about relationships, my relationship, my relationship with myself, my relationship with other people, my relationship with those special itches, physical or otherwise. And we all have those special itches. Well, I know I certainly have a a myriad of special itches. And, and here is this perfect training ground to just train up that education which I spoke about, the spontaneous self-release of each and every data stream. Because these itches, if we really look into it, these, we can really, really reduce it down to this single datum occurring spontaneously and, and just releasing without it, nothing needing to be done about it, nothing needing to be done with it. So from the vantage of my education before knowing about this proper education in the nature of mind, uh, I was all about itching. (laughs) I was all about um, really collecting uh, certain sensations, really, really going after certain sensations, thinking that they they held um, some kind of satisfaction But when I rely on open intelligence, I see that there's just so much satisfaction in each and every data stream. Whether I go after it, whether I, I, or I leave it to just spontaneously release. The, the emphasis is always on relying on open intelligence here with each and every data stream. And it's kept as simple as that. And it's really, really remarkable what that has changed in my life where I mean, especially around intimate relationships. That was an area where I, I just was so totally, uh, <laughs> I, I, didn't, I just didn't know wh- where to go. There was these, uh, when I was in an intimate relationship, uh, I always uh, thought that I actually needed to get out of it. There were these data streams that uh, were just beyond me that I, I couldn't really see. Um, you know, all sorts of data streams around negative, positive, neutral data streams and and then seeing <coughs> that maybe my well-being is, is outside of this, maybe my well-being is, is somewhere else. And then there was the data streams that come up when I wasn't in an intimate relationship and perhaps maybe my circumstances should change and should alter to just to get me into that and to get some kind of... A, some kind of special set of, of circumstances that will give me my well-being. Th- 
the instruction is, is always to rely on short moments of open intelligence and to repeat that spontaneously throughout your day and to rely on the support of the, the mainstays. So the mainstays is short moments of open intelligence repeated many times. The support of uh, a trainer, someone that's been experienced uh, relying on open intelligence in daily life and can offer guidance and support. The support of this community, uh, a powerful community, exemplifying open intelligence and the support of our uh, inexhaustible trainings. And so this really, really um, provided for me a lifestyle of empowerment where I saw that the way I have, was relating to myself just drastically changed. The way I was relating to everything that was coming up for me. And so everything I started to see with the help from the, the support of, with the support of the mainstays is just like a, a line drawn in water, this spontaneous release of each and every data stream. And that all of my data, the, the positive, the amazing, the exalted, the elation and the really, really negative data, the ones that I shouldn't be having, the desireful data, if that's even a word, the really itchy data. If I look at my experience, the way that I related to that before was that I, I definitely shouldn't be having those uh, itchy data streams. Those, uh, those data streams about desire or... And then the, the way I would relate to it is always about how, how I can get rid of it, how I can change it, how I can um, avoid it, replace it, it or, or what about uh, just indulging it a bit more. Maybe there will be satisfaction and then and then you go after this. I always g w would go after this, uh, this itch and then get to the end of, <laughs> get to some kind of uh, uh, conclusion and then it's always so disappointing. <laughs> it looked much better in my head. It looked much, much better. Uh, and then it's just always disappointing. So I... Uh, I went about my life in that way for, for some time, going after each data stream after each data stream and thinking that there would be some kind of different result, some kind of different result of lasting satisfaction or some kind of uh, greater fulfillment. And then I was thankfully introduced to uh, uh, the proper education in the use of my mind. Where I can now openly and clearly say that I can allow everything to be as it is. And I can see that each and every data stream is announcing my power. <laughs> Did you like how I said that then? <laughs> every data stream. The really, really negative, <laughs> embarrassing, the data streams that just should not be there, the data streams that uh, really, really had me in a, in a bind to, 
to act in a certain way or be a certain person, um, to walk around like a person that is um, not feeling itchy, <laughs> to walk around like a person that doesn't have uh, those data streams that people shouldn't have to allow them to be as it is and see that I'm just so human, that I'm just like every single person. That's what's been so totally amazing to me is that I'm just like every, every single person on this planet. I'm, I'm just no different and I, and I just feel uh, like I, I know everyone completely, having known myself fully and completely all of the data streams, the, the, the itches of the world, I feel like I can just really, really embrace. The, the intimate relationship problems of the world. <laughs> can you imagine all of them if you just collected them all and put them in a, in a bucket? Oh my goodness. Those, the intimate relationship data streams of the world. I feel like I can just house and embrace them all. <laughs> and... And that's where my power is. That's where my power lies. So why be someone else? Why be someone else without the itches, without the scratches, without the, the data streams, without the hate, without the love, without all of these data streams? We can see clearly in the perfect love of open intelligence. So not, a lim not limited uh, descriptions of what open intelligence is, but open intelligence encompassing all and everything, uh, imperfect and perfect alike, in this equal ground of, of true power, where uh, I can really relate to people now. <laughs> I'm going from place to place to place and from community to community and I, I just see people just like me and like everyone else and that is that are just stepping up into simple education in the nature of mind, a, a very real education in the nature of mind. Not something complicated, all data spontaneously self-release without ever having anything to, without doing nothing at all. Uh, data are inseparable to open intelligence, like the colour blue and the sky. This is just in, in our instinctive uh, education in the nature of mind where I see that it's just, it's just really, really true and real. That it just, it, it clicks and it's just taken over each and every moment of my life. And my lifestyle is now just one of, of constant empowerment.